escaping and avoiding debt at all costs. That's the philosophy that many financial experts say we should live by. And that means just because we can maybe afford to buy something now, well, it doesn't necessarily mean we should. Yes, we are talking about the cars, the bikes, the boats, but it's also the everyday purchases that can really add up. And Brant Spetshart, Certified Financial Planner and President of Steward Wealth Strategies, is with us today to talk about ways that we can uh, help save for down the road. Now, I think it's so interesting. You are a founding member of the Dave Ramsey Investing Council. I know a lot of people out there know who Dave Ramsey is. He's on TV. He's on our radio. Really smart man. Um, and he has the motto, if you've never heard, living like no one else uh, so that you can later live like no one else. Real quick, what does that mean? What's the whole theory uh, behind his savings and ideas? Yeah, it's basically two parts. One is have a plan. And the other thing is just avoid and get out of debt at all costs. Okay, so we've got some three debt myths that he talks about. A one, debt is a tool and should be used to help create prosperity. Let's go through these, these myths. Yeah, a lot of times people say there's good debt, bad debt. Hey, look, the reality is debt is when you owe somebody. So debt's really not a good tool that we want to use mm -hmm. as part of our financial plan. Also, everybody says, oh, I'm always going to have a car payment. No, you can save and pay cash for a vehicle. Yep. It's hard to do, but you can do it. It doesn't have to be the brand new vehicle either. That's, Buying used is a great right. thing. Absolutely. Yeah. And then the other thing is a lot of people are really hung up on the airline miles, the points. Uh -huh. Look, if you talk to any millionaire out there, they did not build their wealth with points and miles. It's spend less than you make and credit card companies know that you will spend more if you use their product. Yeah, and so you just want to get rid of those credit cards altogether if you can. Okay, perfect. So we've got baby steps. Yeah. How do you get there? Well, he's got some, some fantastic ideas. Three steps off the top, and of course, number one, create that emergency fund. Absolutely. So the cornerstone to any financial plan is to have a budget. You know, have a game plan with what you're going to do with your money before it actually happens. And then really keep it simple and keep it boring. Dave's seven baby steps hit the major areas of our financial life but they give you an order on how to attack things. And step one is have a starter emergency fund, 500 to $1,000 in the bank. Then step two is focus all your energy on getting out of debt as quickly as possible. Not the house, but the credit cards, the car loans, the student loan debt, because when you get this debt off your plate, it frees up your cash flow. Yep. And our income is our biggest wealth building tool that we have. And then once we've got all that debt taken care of and we use gazelle intensity, as Dave says, there you go. then we focus on building that true emergency fund of three to six months. And it's not three to six months of our income, it's three to six months of our expenses so that if something happens, we're not burdened with debt but we've also got money in the bank. And it doesn't matter who you are. We all can go through that experience of losing a job, an emergency, a medical issue comes up. You blow a tire. I mean, that starts from the very beginning yep. with the, the $1,000 emergency fund. So we get through the first three steps and then we can move on to the last four through seven. And that is the investing and the smart ways to do so. That's right. And that's where our firm comes in. We help people. But basically, step four is retirement savings. Five is college savings. And then step six is exciting. If you're saving for retirement, you're saving for college, everything's taken care of, all your extra money then goes towards the principal of your house. You mm -hmm. get your house paid off and then all of a sudden you're at step seven. Build wealth and give because if you don't have any of those debt payments, you can be a true blessing to others. And that's the big thing is, you know, you, you want to get that, that debt away. You might have to cut some corners. You might have to not buy that brand new car or that boat you want now. But down the road, you're going to have uh, the ability to, to really have a good retirement, a good life down the road. And that's what we're all working for. Awesome tips. Thank you so much. Uh, it's fantastic having you in here. We're going to have these tips and much more on our website. All you have to do is click on this story under the in-depth tab.